The Empire is the only chance the galaxy has to regain order. The Death Stars were the ultimate expression of that order. No longer would the Empire's citizens be forced to live in fear of cowardly terrorists striking from their hidden lairs. No longer would lawlessness and chaos touch the lives of law-abiding innocents. Palpatine took a stand. Disrupt order and the Empire would restore it, by any means necessary. Imperial High Inquisitor Antinus Tremaine While Palpatine was Emperor, the executive branch consisted of the Imperial Ruling Council, a group of Imperial advisors, who ran both the day-to-day -day activities and the will of Palpatine for the Empire. The real power below the Emperor and his advisors was in the hands of the Grand Moffs, Moffs, and other regional governors who were eventually granted direct control of their regions. There was also the office of the Emperor, of which its approval was required regarding the use of the Death Star's superlaser. This exercise of power was backed up by the use of state terrorism in the form of the Tarkin Doctrine, named for Grand Moff Wilhuff Tarkin. The doctrine threatened force rather than the use of force to control dissent. The Gorman Massacre was an example. The justification for the Tarkin Doctrine was the excessive cost and impracticality of the use of pure terror in the form of billions upon billions of troops and warships to maintain order. The instrument of enforcing the doctrine was the Imperial military, which included the stormtroopers and large fleets of intimidating capital ships like the Star Destroyers of the Imperial Navy and the all-terrain armored transports of the Imperial Army, all of which were intended in part to spread fear as well as destroy the enemy. This policy reached its zenith with the construction of the world-destroying Death Star. Because of Palpatine's status as the Empire's commander-in-chief, the Imperial military honored Palpatine's arrival with hundreds of soldiers as well as a parade of TIE fighters. Other governmental ministries and agencies were placed under direct control of the Grand Vizier and Imperial Advisors, Imperial Ruling Council, while under constant surveillance from both COMPNOR and the ISB.